decided to uh, not go on the road today. Decided to uh, let the snow fall and get a start tomorrow. It is North Dakota. It is fall only. It's kind of pretty. I kind of wish it would just stick and stay. I think we're just gonna get a dusting. Don't know. But tomorrow they're calling for sunshine. So um, <laughs> we'll make it through this little snow patch and uh, hopefully be back to normal. I need to head south, guys. I gotta get out of here soon. All right, no snow today. <laughs> Just windy and cold. Um, I ran out of propane last night in this one. Uh, Scott's out of propane. He's got the truck camper, so he's got the, the dual tanks that are sideways in there that need to come out. And then I'm also gonna try to fill up my onboard tank as well. Some places will only fill up the tanks, so we'll see what he says. Might as well top off since we made the stop and I'm getting other propane anyway, though. Filling her up. <clears throat> Not gonna freeze tonight. All right, good to go. Oh, and if you're not privy, the, that's called a tank foot available on Amazon. It, it sits it inside so that this won't roll around in the back seat of your truck or your car or your RV. Really handy. Well, guys, I traded in jacks. I got me a new travel buddy. <laughs> Mumu, you're awesome. I bet you could just sit right there and be good. Are you with the seat? What do you smell, kitty? You smell a kitty? Oh, man. Ready to rock and roll? All right. I want to go back in my RV. Okay. All right. See when we get there. By the way, I did get my new microphone, guys, fixed for this kind of stuff. Can you see this big creature off to the right? Maybe. We're going to try to get closer to him. Yeah, there appears to be a way up there. Um, this is a, a fair. Welcome. Enjoy the view from Salem Sioux, world's largest Holstein cow. Can you see her up there, guys? <laughs> World's largest Holstein cow. Here we go. A graded road, though. <laughs> there she is, guys. <laughs> oh, her paint looks good, actually. Well, we made it to the top, guys. Say hello to Salem Sioux. <laughs> Pretty cool. I love larger in life, and we are in that area where, you know, Paul Bunyan and into Minnesota and all that. Um, look at these tree colors. Just gorgeous. What a good time of year to be here, man. Should we go up and check her out in person? Let's do that. Let's do that. Little sign here talking about Old Red Trail Scenic Byway in Salem Sioux. Old red, old 10com I might check that out for some more information. Look at this, this view down here. That's I-94 running down that way. We're way up there. And now we got a little bit of a hike. It's actually quite a hill. Woo! So this plaque says she was erected in 1974. Salem Sioux is the world's largest Holstein cow. 38 feet high, 50 feet long, and weighs 12,000 pounds. That's a lot of milk. Now, I mean, look at those clod hoppers. Woo-wee. She's dried up. She's all dried up, guys. Sorry. I love the detail, though. She's got fresh paint, I think. Don't you think? Yeah. I think many a motorist has driven past this section of I-94 in North Dakota when she's all lit up at night because they got two big lights lighting her up from the highway. It's a pretty strange sight. I like it. Look, there's writing all over it. Like old writing? Well, look. Oh yeah. no. I have the sniffles. A little cold. I don't think I have a cold or anything. It's just cold. We're way up here. So we are gonna go camping now. Goodbye, Salem Sioux. Uh, we're gonna keep driving east and there is another wildlife management area campground that's about 16 miles away. And because we've already driven quite a while to get here and there's just not much in North Dakota, we are just gonna camp for the night probably and then head into a bigger town tomorrow morning. That's probably our plan. I just don't know what to expect. If I see anything quirky along the way, of course, I'll stop and uh, share it with you guys.
There we go, guys. There we go. Crown Butt Campground. It could be Butte. It's probably Crown Butte. Pretty little spot. It has been a long time since I have literally camped 10 feet from the water's edge. That's pretty stinking cool. We're at a big campsite. Uh, we came down to a loop where Scott and Terry are also here and Aja's over there. So we have this entire little camping loop here and uh, it fits us nicely. And we all have a really nice view and really good Verizon service. I think we're all trying to upload a video. <laughs> Not too bad though. Not too bad. A little warmer right now. I wish there was blue skies. But it's not raining and it's not snowing more importantly who says it don't pay off to travel with friends that's right terry made me dinner uh cod fish there and green stuff i don't know what all this strange green stuff is but thank you terry this looks delicious mm. <laughs> man it does look like she dropped my plate in the grass Fish is amazing though. Mmm! Actually, beats pizza. I love this place. I'm so in love with this campground, this campsite, and good friends. It's cool. Yep, everybody's putting up decorations. Scott and Terry, too. We're gonna do something pretty different in, in the next video. Been doing a lot of natural setting campgrounds and stuff, but uh, I do need to go to town at least for some stuff, and we're gonna go to kind of a bigger city. So, be sharing that with you um and as far as i know we're just gonna keep traveling together until i dart off and do my own thing here pretty soon but still this has been a nice little break so guys have a good night and jackson i'll see you back on the road here in a few days bye guys <laughs> <laughs>